Cookery, anyway, of some description. Right, so today we're going to do a meatloaf. Now, I haven't done a meatloaf in years, you know what I mean? And uh, here's another thing, too. I was just thinking about it a minute ago. If you were to ask a girl over for dinner and say, oh, yeah, come on, would you like to come over for dinner, a few drinks, uh, listen to a bit of music? Um, and she goes, what are you cooking? <laughs> meatloaf? <laughs> Righto, real romantic. Um, but <laughs> at the same time, they probably had the same thing I thought was, well, I haven't had it in years. Oh, this would be a bit of good fun, see how it goes. Well, yeah, let's give it a crack, see, see how we come up with it, right? Okay, so these are the things you're gonna need for a meatloaf. And I haven't cooked this before, this is gonna be my first run at it. <laughs> so I hope it comes out all right, but uh, when you cook all the time and stuff like that, you sort of got a bit of an idea on how you want it to come out. Um, so have your sort of end goal and then work back. Well, that's the theory anyway. <laughs> so, first thing, you need uh, a beer. That's not for the, the, the recipe, it's just for me. When we go to cook, it's gonna be a three step. Right, so what we're gonna do, right, so we've got, we got our minces. Right, so I'm using pork mince, and I'm using beef mince, about three quarters of a kilo of each. Right, we've got our garlic, chili, capsicum, onion, cut legs, right, uh, bacon, some sun-dried tomatoes, right, and a piece of resistance, mozzarella. That all, that all goes in when we, make, when we make the mix. But first, what we've got to do is we've got to fry off our uh, ingredients uh, that goes into our mince, right? Which is going to be our capsicum, our <laughs> carrot, and our onion, right, and garlic, right, and, and a couple of uh, rashes of bacon, right. So they're going to, yeah, we're just going to fry them off and add them to it because you can, you don't want to put that in raw because it's going to stew inside it and it's going to be all watery and it's going to taste raw and it's going to be shit, right. So what we're going to do, we're going to fry them off first before we build our loaf. <laughs> yes, yeah, sound meat life. All right, let's get started, eh? Okay, now it's time for our build. So we're going to need our bowl. We'll take off our stuff off the stove. We've just let it cool down a bit, so it's going to be a little bit more manageable. It goes in. Then it goes in our pork mince. <coughs> and our beef mince. Two cups of breadcrumbs. Bit of hot paprika. <laughs> and then mozzarella. One of the great things of making things at home is it's messy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. It is messy. Oh man, balls deep into this. Far out. Now the mix is finished. Now we stick it into a pan. Right, serve or bake, baking dish. Good handles. <laughs> Noisy bloody thing. All right, so what we're going to do? Just let's get it together. Now I've made such a big um, loaf, I think I'm going to get two out of this. All right. All right, so just like such, because it's only me too, you know. I yeah. <laughs> haven't asked anyone over; they'd probably go, "Beat loaf, I'll give it a miss, thank you." All right, so there we go. All right, but. What we're going to do, we're going to do something a little bit different, right? I'll move this out. Right, so I'm going to just use some tomato paste and put a coating over the top of it. And now, when it comes to slicing, that tomato paste just goes right through it. Um, if you like tomato sauce, you like this even better. And if you don't like tomato sauce, it still comes out really good. Oh, my mum showed me this. 
Right, so, and I've done this to a leg of lamb if um, and the groovers and groovettes remember. Right, so, but also, what, another thing. And this is a bit of a cheat. Right, it's not the first time I've done this. Because you cooked, you let it do that. I do have uh, a bit of a cheat every now and again. I'm going to put a little sp teaspoon of garlic as well over the top. Oh, can't have enough garlic. <laughs> also, what I like to do is put a little bit of basil right, just on top of that. Right, so now I've just put some bacon over the top and she is ready to rock and roll. Look at that. Now, pre preheated the oven to, to uh, 180. We're gonna put it in for half an hour. But what we're gonna do, we're just gonna put a little bit of baking paper over the top. Keep that heat in, all that. Let it sort of just cook in its own, its own juices and all that sort of stuff for half an hour. Then we're gonna pull it out, we take it off, and then we're gonna whack it in. We're just gonna turn it up just a tab for about 20 minutes, maybe 25, and then she's ready to rock and roll. So we've been cooking for 50 minutes, or 55 minutes, actually. All right, let's take her out. Look at that. Ooh, now we've got to get it out of the pan. Look at this. Look at that. And because it's got all the all the juices over the around the outside and bacon and all that, oh man. Mmm. That's awesome. <laughs> mm. Presentation? Yeah, pretty average. Mmm. Doesn't need a gravy. Doesn't need a gravy. Oh. All that tomato paste. Oh man. Bacon. Mm. Definitely not the prettiest thing I've ever done. But man, it's come out awesome. Mm. Oh. How many ways can you do mince? <laughs> Thousands. Oh, and you can taste that cheese in there too. Oh. Oh. Mmm. It's not flash in any stretch of the imagination, but I tell you what, that is awesome. Oh, that tomato paste over the top, bit of basil, lots of garlic. Oh, you can see that cheese in there. Mate, that's coming out, that's coming out fantastic. <laughs> Quite surprised. I'll stand by this. Mmm. <laughs> well, mm. Excuse me. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a labour of love. Wow. Oh yeah, awesome. Catch you next time. <laughs> I'll do something a bit flasher. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but that is nice. Oh, meatloaf. Who knew?